Yeah, Rand was has always been in full compliance. So Rand, actually, the supreme leader is opposed to nuclear weapons. I began to explain how I participated in this conference on uh, the the death of General Soleimani at, at One World Trade Center. I was explaining how, although they may have thought that Trump was their great enemy, actually, and welcomed Biden administration, that Biden was much more likely to bomb Iran than Trump, and that they needed to appreciate, and the best thing they could do even though the supreme leader doesn't like the ideas to acquire nuclear weapons so that you could have a period of mutually assured destruction such as obtained between the United States and the USSR before the uh, dissolution of the Soviet Union in 1991. We had a period of nearly 40 years of, of stability in the world, and there'd be great stability in the Middle East were Iran to acquire nuclear weapons. Now, the pressure and attacks that are being launched against Russia on the one hand and, and China on the other, I believe, are going to lead to an alignment between Iran and Russia and China in opposition to U.S. aggression. And, and Rashid, I mean, it pains me as a former Marine Corps officer to have to acknowledge that the United States has been responsible for more aggression worldwide than any other nation in the history of the world. If you look at the number of nations in, with which we have conducted military interventions or actual wars, you know, formally recognized, we have the record by far. Unfortunately, it's not a record of which we should be proud.